Hey everybody, Steven here playing Subnautica Below Zero, and today we're going to check out a couple new things the devs have added over the last couple days. One thing is actually going to be part of the story. Now, there's no voice work to it, it's just kind of the dialogue showing up on screen, the text for it. But um, this actually got added last week, I believe, because I got a comment on a video about it, and it doesn't occur until you actually do the first portion of the story in regards to Alan hopping inside of your brain um, and then you encounter Marg. So we'll skip through that because that's all old dialogue for that portion but the text that pops up on screen will actually be new stuff. The other thing that's going to be new is part of the intro. So we actually have a visual effect added to the meteor as you're following it down to um, the planet. There's one kind of small tweak to that first part where you're like supposed to be essentially passing through the atmosphere, but then you go right back into space. But it, it is at least showing us kind of they're working on that section. And then uh, the visual effect is it looks better than it did because now we got flames coming from it. But I do suspect that uh, the textures on everything are going to get improved with this also. So all of this is the same. And then right there where we see the sky for a second, that's been added. But like I said, we kind of pass through that and go into space again. Right here. So you can see flames coming from it, and then we get hit. So. And then the rest of this will actually be the same. It still explodes, but then it also still disappears. <laughs> so I'm curious if they're going to leave the debris behind and somebody was like, that'd be awesome if you could like kind of get some parts out of the uh, wreck there. So maybe they, they add that in. Maybe you get some titanium or like wreckage salvage or something like that. All right, so the next part that I'm going to do, I want to jump right into the story stuff. So I'm going to skip ahead. So I got to do the sanctuary portion, and I got to do Marg's first encounter, and then we'll uh, click back in, and I'll have the kind of dialogue there ready to go. All right, so I ended up getting one small piece of dialogue when I went to the sanctuary. So I did want to back up and actually showcase this for you guys. So we have three different distress calls here. So I don't know. If that means that there's three different options depending upon how you approach the area or what this means. But we have this one here. It says, I've picked up what sounds like a distress call. Emphasize, emphasis on sounds like. Is it a mimicking cry from one of the most intelligent aquatic specimens? Maybe the creature learned it from Altera. Or perhaps that Altera scientist was right when she theorized that architects are still here on 4546B. If I investigate, I'll proceed with caution. This one, it changes the bottom. Or could it have to do with architects? If I investigate, I'll proceed with caution. Um, what is this one? This one just cuts the line. Or it could it have to do with the architects and it cuts it. That's all that does. So, I'm wondering if it's like this was the first pass, second pass, third pass. Because we just see the same thing with the sea monkeys here. Alright, but let's go ahead and... Uh, sanctuary. So it's just one thing right as she essentially goes into the sanctuary here and then... We'll cut ahead because nothing else has been changed. And we have the sounds, which is, from what I've been told, um, Morse code for SOS. No voice to it. We're just going to see it. All right, so that's interesting because now it won't do it. <laughs> so this build today doesn't seem that s stable, by the way. I've had this crash three times now. But I am messing around with console commands, so that's that's part of it. So, all right, I'm not gonna get it to click in, and it seemed like it was the last line where she's like, "I need to be cautious. I'm going to investigate." So, 
All right, let's click ahead. All right, so I was actually able to get it. It crashed again, so I was able to actually get it to work this time. So picked up what sounds like a distress, distress call. I'll, if I investigate, I'll use caution. So uh, that finally did work. Let's get uh, Alan on our head now. All right, so this is Marg's encounter. It's still the old voice work, right? I'm curious to see how this intera interaction goes, though. So based off the stuff that we're going to see from Alan here in a minute. I think it'll be pretty similar. It's more of the question of how is Robin now going to respond to her. So what we're going to see, and I've covered this before, the first bit, it would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. And then we should get a call from Alan, which it's weird because it's a call. T, answer, what? I don't know, but I'm sh I am sure envy her suit. So he said, who is that? I hope you will avoid contact with her in the future. You seem to have that in common with her. Did she scare you? If anything happens to you, it puts you in danger too, I know. For all I know, I am the last of my kind, or the last who can help. And she is rather well armed. And she did not respond to my distress call. Well, I don't think you should take it personally. So that was it. Um, let's look at... I don't know if this is different. It, this seems exactly the same. Stop right there, Al Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait, who are you? Then it's stay off my land. Actually, I think that is different. I'm sorry. And then this is still the the same here. But yeah, I'm curious to see what that interaction is like now um, with this. But this is interesting. Also, the call is different versus him just talking. Like, you have to answer a phone call. I... Yeah, I don't know what that means in terms of is he going to be downloaded into your brain again or to something else? Like, does the storage medium change? Maybe he is on the PDA now. So, just something that's different. Um, curious to see where they go with it. So, that was one of the bigger ones that I wanted to showcase for you guys. And then, a couple other things. They keep talking about these purple bulbs being on land. I still can't find them. I have no idea where they're at, so if you do NC all, I can't find it either, so they're working on it, um, I just don't know where it is, so if you guys know, definitely let me know in the comment section. Another thing that they've put in here that's still, I mean, I'm not going to be able to see it, but, um, and it's the surface purple bulbs. I keep saying it wrong, but it's the surface purple bulbs. Here we go. Um, but this one was get end game working. That uh, was added a couple hours ago. So it looks like they have that in game. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, there's obviously probably a lot behind scenes that they haven't added yet. Um, they've done an art pass on the Glacial Basin. I can't really tell anything different outside of. And I think we got one right over here. Maybe. There it is. And there's a bunch of these. So we have these. i will pass through some walls here. Got some here. And so... My initial thought was maybe it was... Because it looks like impact... The same style for the meteor that's in the Arctic Spires in the ground. It kind of looks like that from an art style perspective, but let's ghost in here. Let's see. Let's see, let's see if I can find this. Uh... Um, which they have added some more of these logs to everything, but I don't want to cover that just yet. 
Um, where is it? Here it is. Glacial Research Notes Update. Upon further investigating this cave system, there are many rich mineral nodes lining the walls. The glacial melt is uncovering previously hidden mineral veins. Removing the loose rock is quite easy, allowing access to the raw materials or raw minerals. So that kind of looks like other spots that they've had in the world where you... And it looks a little bit different from what I can tell. But where you like pick up like diamonds and things like that, it kind of looks like that. So I'm wondering if these are just going to be those placements for that here. Curious about the information there where they're talking about the melting of everything. Because we have these different logs here. Um... Like I said, I don't want to get too deep into this just yet because I know a lot of this is going to change right now. Um, so yeah, I don't want to get too much, but I do want to do a video probably in the next week and I'll cover a lot more of this that they've added. So, and I'm sure that'll be a long-winded one, which is another reason why I don't want to cover it just yet. Covering all that stuff and reading all the notes and everything is going to take a while. Um, but that's kind of the big things that I've seen added. There's a bunch of behind the scenes stuff that I've kind of posted about for story stuff that's being lined up. Um, and I did that as just like a regular post on YouTube. But um, hopefully in the next week we'll get, because one of them was from Jill talking about she's exporting, uh, I think it's the JSON file for um, audio work that's going to be done in terms of like the voice recordings. So. Still waiting to see these guys put somewhere. And my first initial thought was that these were the purple bulbs. But uh, I can't really scan them and they don't pop up in the PDA when you do NCL. So that is it for right now. Um, nothing else, like I said, I've been able to see that's been changed. But a lot of times they'll say there's been an art pass done. And it's like minor detail work right now. So... Um, Hopefully I can see more of it, like I said, in the next couple days that I can cover for you guys as well. But for right now, that's kind of it. Fingers crossed we get a big story update within this next week because uh, April is the next, supposedly the next early access release, which will feature this new story. So fingers crossed that uh, that actually happens as well. What is going on there? What was that? So I mentioned it crashed three times on me. This is crashed. What is that? You see that? This thing has crashed on me four times. And so this is uh, stuff that if you're playing the game to uh, actually give feedback helps. <laughs> What? Oh, and done. All right, well, that is the video, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.